is a collaborative tool that allows participants to share and collaborate on a virtual whiteboard in real time. This enables participants to draw, write, add shapes, annotations, and more. This is a useful tool for brainstorming, presentations, and interactive discussions both in and out of meetings. In this video, we'll take a look on how to enable settings for the whiteboard and go over some basic whiteboard tools. Please note, the Zoom whiteboard is not accessible. With this in mind, please take into consideration of the following. This should not be used as a required tool in meetings or classrooms if you know that you have participants with disabilities that use a screen reader, magnifier, or other reading software. When the activity using Whiteboard requires the use of post-its, drag and drop content, adding images, making drawings, using a mouse, device pen, finger, or more, some participants may not be able to independently engage and contribute to content by entering their ideas and slash or reading the content posted by others. In order to utilize the Zoom whiteboard, it's recommended to enable specific settings in the Zoom portal. You can do so by following these steps. For Stony Brook users, head to stonybrook.zoom.us and sign in using your net ID and password. Then select Settings, and type Whiteboard in the search bar of the Settings area to see all Whiteboard features. Once you see all Whiteboard features, make sure to enable Whiteboard Classic. Below this setting is the option to use Whiteboard by default if available. This will let you access the new Whiteboard feature. In addition, we recommend enabling the use to allow the saving of Whiteboard content so that you can re-access specific Whiteboards if needed. A related setting to Zoom Whiteboards is the screen sharing feature, which should be turned on. Here you can decide who specifically you would like to share. For example, just the host or all participants. For collaboration purposes, you may want to consider all participants, but I would recommend making sure that the setting for who can start sharing when someone else is sharing is set to host only, just to make sure you can take control of shared screens during a meeting. If you would like participants to collaborate with you on a whiteboard, then enable Allow in Meeting Collaboration on Whiteboards. For this setting, you can either select to allow for collaboration within the same organization or to allow collaboration between users in the same organization and outside of your organization. If you would like participants to be able to share their own whiteboards in your meeting, you should enable the setting Allow Participants to Share Whiteboard. If you enable this setting, you may also wish to allow all participants to have the ability to share new whiteboards in the meeting. To access the Zoom whiteboard while in a meeting, select the Share button. Then choose Documents and select Whiteboard. Then click Share. A pop-up window should now appear where you have the following options. You can create a new blank whiteboard, access a whiteboard with a template, or access a previously created whiteboard. Please note, if sharing a pre-existing whiteboard, you can choose whether or not you wish to collaborate with others in the meeting on the board or if you would like to only present the whiteboard in the meeting so that others cannot collaborate on it. I'm going to work with a blank whiteboard to show off some basic features that you have access to. Once you access your blank whiteboard, you have various options in the toolbar to choose from. For example, the ability to draw on the screen, 
insert shapes, insert lines, text boxes, or sticky notes to add a note to something drawn on the board. You also have access to add comments over the screen to clarify information or even to ask questions, but we'll show off this feature more in our Zoom whiteboard templates video. But we can do things like insert a frame, and insert pre-generated templates, which again we will discuss more in our template video. But we can still do things like upload files from your computer to insert in the whiteboard, insert stickers, emojis, and GIFs, and additional options including inserting tables, mind maps, charts, Google Drive files, OneDrive files, and more. Thank you for watching. For more information on whiteboards, such as how to use templates to collaborate with others, work with objects on the whiteboard, and comment on objects, please check out the video in the description.